Welcome back to MathHub GH. In this video, we are going to solve an example I have on the board here, and it's an example under turbine generation. And here we are to determine the combined turbine generator efficiency of the plants. And we've been given some conditions. And our first condition we can see is a steady state condition and also um, since it's water we can assume it's an incompressible flow so because of the water we can assume it's an incompressible flow and we can also neglect friction so in this sense we have in these three conditions we can use the Bernoulli's equation to solve the question I have on the board here. So the question reads, electric power is to be generated by installing a hydraulic turbine generator at a site 70 meters. So we have 70 meters here. Below the free surface of a large water reservoir that can supply water at a rate of 1500 kilogram per second and they've given us the power output of the turbine to be 800 kilowatts and the electric power generation to also be 750 kilowatts so let's get our data or let's write down our parameters or whatever we've been given in the question so we have a height of 70 from the free surface. We also have the mass flow rate to be 1,500 kilogram per second. And we have the mechanical work output. That's our shaft work. So we can write W shaft to be equal to 800 kilowatts and our power generation that's W let's write electric equal to 750 kilowatts so we have this here and since we can use the Bernoulli's equation to solve this, let's write down our Bernoulli's equation. So we have P over rho plus V squared over 2 plus GZ. So for this question, we want, this is the Bernoulli's equation. So we want to find for our change in mechanical energy so change in mechanical energy we can use the Bernoulli's equation for that so it is going to give us p1 minus p2 over rho plus v squared v1 squared minus v2 squared all over 2 plus g into brackets z1 minus z2 but to be able to get all these parameters let's first draw our free body diagram and see how we can easily get our parameters so let's assume this the reservoir we have here connected to a turbine so this is our turbine our turbine and our turbine is also connected to the generator so let's draw this box here as our generator and there is the water inside and it's at a height of 70 so let's see this side through to this side 
is 70 meters. And we can name this as our point one. And the turbine side as our point two. And we would like to use the bottom side as our reference. It means point two, the distance there is zero meters. So we know our G, our Z here, Z2 to be equal to zero meters because it's our reference and we know Z1 to be 70 meters. So now to find for our P, our P1 and P2, we assume that they are exposed to the atmosphere. So it's atmospheric pressure that is acting on it. So P1 equal to P2 equal to ATM or atmospheric pressure. Then for our velocities, we assume that the velocities here, the water here is stagnant or it's motionless. So the velocities there too are zero. So V1 equal to V2 equal to zero. So now we are done with those parameters. So we can solve for our change in mechanical energy. So we rewrite the equation again. So now, since we know this is going out, so this becomes zero, right? This also becomes zero. So we are left with the Z1 minus Z2. And we know our Z2 is also zero because it's the reference point. So we are just left with this. So we know our E make to be equal to, we know G as the acceleration due to gravity, 9.81 multiplied by the distance, that's 70 meters. So 70. So if you compute this, you are going to get Six hundred and eighty six point seven joules per kilogram. Joules per kilogram. So to convert this to kilojoules per kilogram, you just divide by thousand. So that's going to give us zero point six eight six seven kilojoules per kilogram. But we want it in a rate form, so we would have to multiply, we would like to multiply this by the mass flow rate. So we want so this is going to give us the mass flow rate times the change in make let me clean this write it on top here and we know our mass flow rate to be equal to 1500 so 1500 times 0 0.68 
1030.05 watts. Sorry, kilowatts. 1030.05 kilowatts. But we are not done. They asked us to determine the combined turbine generation efficiency. So to find for that, we know our turbine is equal to. the w let over what we found here so the working fluid that's going to give us 750 over 1030.05 and we are going to get 0.7 three or 73 percent so that's the efficiency for the combined turbine generation this is how we go about this question if today is the first time watching this video i would like you guys to subscribe also like share and comment thank you